And we've got bank one on the run. What's in your wallet? It's not capital one. It's us. So which card are you enter? Creations never had us feeling so good And we'll make lots of money Forever I can sing about Economic trust in and... America America has become a second rate power Its trade deficit and its fiscal deficit Are at nightmare proportions Now in the days of the free market When our country was a The new law of evolution in corporate America seems to be survival of the unfittest. Well, in my book, you either do it right or you get eliminated. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence. Evolutionary spirit, greed in all of its forms. Greed for life, for money, for love, knowledge has marked the upward surge of mankind and greed. Three pages. It's about a billion dollars a word. And it is quite simple. Secretary Paulson gets the key to the treasury. You can start off by borrowing $700 billion in the name of the American people, maybe more later. And it waves all laws, all laws. No oversight, no he one looking over his shoulder, no Sachs, conflict of interest. One of the prestigious all investment banking houses. Tell people sometimes that I think Goldman Sachs operates at the sweet spot of global it's capitalism. A necessary I, and understandable side effect of what needed to be done to stimulate the economy. If two years ago, even one year ago, I was very concerned about the U.S. economy after the bubble burst and there were a lot of questions a lot of questions in my mind we're very vigilant we can but we do not take and i don't take lightly ever putting the taxpayers uh the taxpayer on the line uh to, to support, uh, to support wired right into my account no one else would lend me money not even my relatives cash call I'm wise enough uh, to remind you that I'm not an economist I am not an expert on Wall Street and the fundamentals of our economy are strong the fundamentals are of our economy are strong as you can foresee the underlying fundamentals of our businesses uh, are very strong uh, indeed the strongest uh, they've ever been uh, but regrettably, uh, that's not what Wall Street is focusing on. And is that the worst you've ever seen in your career? Oh, by far. There's no question that this is in the process of outstripping anything I've seen, and it still is not resolved and it still has a way to go. There's some neighborhoods where literally on every block, you don't have one foreclosure. Really, you've got 20 per block, 30. In the past five years, where caucus has seen homeowner equity erased and entire neighborhoods destroyed by the more than 70,000 home foreclosures across the county. Foreclosure. What if you're that house in the middle there? I don't have that. to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep on the record that Alan Greenspan has established. I urge the Senate to act promptly to confirm Ben Bernanke. Ben Bernanke. No, ben Bernanke is the that 14th chairman job of Mickey D's. Of the Federal Reserve. Honors in the dollar, kid. So with the white boy way of slinging crack rock, I became a stockbroker. <laughs> policy of deliberately destroying the value of money as an economic value. It destroys, it's so, so immoral in the sense that what about a, somebody who saved for the retirement and they have CDs and we're inflating the money at a 10% rate, their standard of living is going down and that's what's happening today. The middle class is being wiped out and nobody's understanding that it has to do with the value of money. Prices are going up. The biggest bailout in U.S. history. 
Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are critical to turning the corner on house. Fuck out of here! Right now, he tells you money's the root of all evil. Doesn't fucking have it. They say money can't buy happiness. Look at the fucking smile on my face. But the, I, I think the biggest thing I've learned really is balance. You can't. A leader really does need to lean against the. Good leader. evening. Nothing this is an extraordinary period for America's economy. Mm -hmm. Over the past few weeks, many Americans have felt anxiety about their finances and their future. I understand their worry and their frustration. We've seen triple-digit swings in the stock market. Major financial institutions have teetered on the edge of collapse, and some have failed. Something seems too good to be true. It inevitably is. getting an equity loan because that's what I went for. Come to find out after signing all the papers it was an adjustable rate mortgage and then I found out they started me off at a 9.1 rate and so I just couldn't keep up. So it was like robbing Peter to pay Paul all the time. You either lack in the utilities and pay the mortgage or lack the mortgage and you know pay the utilities to keep the utilities on. So I've been you know, fighting and struggling to keep the home for the past three years. I've been kind of tough, you know, got a lot of stuff over a lot of years, so don't really want to do it, but got to. Right now, I'm basically...